So we have a situation here where we have um, longer teeth and early periodontitis. The x -Floss Light is fabulous for cleaning a condition like this because the threader is good for, it's easy to use to get through the contacts or the interproximal areas rather. And then the floss is lovely and soft to go subgingival. Again, in a situation like this, interdental brushes are not always the best tool to use because, subge because they don't go subgingival. And even though, oh, we've got an open contact there, which is lovely. Oh, and there, that's even greater. So with this floss, because it's nice and thin, we can actually go through the contact as well. But if the contact is very tight, then it's probably better to, well, then it's easy to use the threader. So the threader helps the patient with good access. This is the thicker one, the X floss. In a situation like this, again, the threader is lovely to get through and the floss up and down to clean subgingival. I know I keep on repeating myself but again your interdental brushes will have some effect but when it comes to the <clears throat> subgingival cleaning we need to use some kind of a floss. So for period cases, this floss is fabulous. Giving the patient the thick one and the thin one gives them the option to, to play around with the floss and decide which one is best for them. This area here, I would obviously rather use the X floss light because it's so much thinner. What I often advise patients at this stage also is when they use the floss, avoid using it late at night when you're very tired because we're not in the mood for it. Also avoid using, doing the flossing when you're very tired. I think I've just said that. What I mean is when you're in a hurry. Avoid using the floss when you're in a hurry because it, um, it takes a bit of practice. Of course, there's going to be lots of bleeding initially, but eventually uh, we want that bleeding to stop altogether 